This is the all new generation of the Honda Pilot. It is the largest Honda SUV ever, the most rugged one, especially here in this new Trave Sport version with even more off-road focus. And it will also be the most powerful Honda SUV yet. Here was Thomas on Autogefühl. Let's take a look in 4K, full screen and full length. Let's go. A very bold styling here for the new generation of the Pilot. Look at that, that huge front grille here blacked out in that styling. And the Trail Spot version is the top off-road version with skid plates, also an off-road tuned suspension with a one-inch lift actually, also with some all-terrain tires, for example, and even some kind of an off-road torque vectoring. So this will be the most rugged, most off-road capable version. We can see here the headlamps, they are beautifully integrated with the front grille some kind of sculpture design the daytime running lights also horizontally and slim and this red color is also a very fitting one for that one so yeah really like it from the styling what about you the length now at 200 inches or five meters zero eight so it's 3.4 inches longer than before slightly also longer wheelbase wider tracks as well here with the trail sport with 18 inch wheels and the all-terrain tires but you can also get for more city street look more impressive look. You can also get the 20 inch wheels now. You can see here the crossover wheel arches typically and you see it rather builds upright because this has also always been a family SUV where it can really house also a lot of people on the inside. Vehicle is locked by the way. Not for us. <laughs> I've seen some funny comments for that also here when I'm doing the motor show reviews. I always got some connections that I can get also inside the vehicle. Here also very interesting, the contrasting door handles. That's really, and they are massive indeed. Yeah. And then roof rails here that you can also mount something on the top. And this, you know, design element right here, standing upright and making even more space in here for this rear window. What do you think about the side profile design? And then you rear here in this case, and with a black pilot batching, huge stamped letters here. And then outside tail lamps, of course, the inner part will also then appear. And black AWD badge, so especially this trail sport version, once again, adds a little bit more, you know, sinister look as well. And in the contrasting part, in the lower here, the gray again. And now we can move these massive handles. And door closing sound. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I like that door closing sound. Then inside of the doors. Top part here is rather hard. Not in super hard, but rather hard, I would say. A little bit softer in here and even softer in here for your elbow. Then the buttons and so on. I would say it's like basic, not too high in the build quality. The rail, the, the, the rail sport. <laughs> Trail sport here also comes standard with these rubber floor mats. So when you go off-roading and so on, you can easier clean them. And then the new interior of the pilot. In this case, and also in this high trim with contrasting stitches inside the steering wheel. Steering wheel heating is here on the steering wheel. It's a very practical thing. And also the rest of the steering wheel here. Real buttons here, plus and minus. Honda has moved back away from hashtag capacitive BS and offers more real buttons again. I think that's a good thing. The seats in this case here, animal skin. If you want to go for fabric seats without animal content, then you have to go for base versions. They certainly don't offer alternatives for the high trim levels. What about the seating position? Let's climb inside because, yeah, it's a large SUV indeed. And then here we have the electric control in this case for the seats. And yeah, you already feel that you have massive space here in the front, already for the front seat. Steering wheel up and down, in and out, manual, but very smoothly to control. So um, that's why I also tend to feel build quality when I move things like this inside the vehicle. And you have this king of the road position. Very comfortable. Yeah, feels good for the ergonomics. The seats are also very wide. So even if you're tall like me, 189 or 6 for 2, a lot of headroom left. Although this one is equipped then here with the panoramic roof. And this is also one, I'm not sure, if, no, the car is not like fully powered, but you can also open that one. And there's also a shade available. Interior overview, really cleaned up. But to me, most important thing is they have a lot of manual knobs. And look at that here. This will be a climate unit. It will also show that the temperature, vent strength, and wow. Clicking sounds, and that's really good in the quality. I love that. That's amazing. Here's some soft touch leather red at the dashboard. And the screen will come in base version, 7-inch, 
higher trims, this one 9 inch, but both will feature Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And here also a manual volume knob right here. And the infotainment system is, let's say, quick enough. It's not the most fancy one, but it actually does the job because I just want to plug in my phone and then have a reliable connection with it. By the way, what's always nice to have here with the Hondas, um, you can, for example, put the whole display off and then you have all these hotkeys or you can um, have, you know, whoa, you can adjust the brightness right here. Yeah, beeping sound is always a thing also with with the Hondas when you do something wrong, definitely. Instruments, either here just on the left part, it's a seven inch screen on the right side then, and lock speed, why not actually? Optional, you will also be able to get a full 10.2 inch digital gauge. Lower middle console, inductive charging pad, but also a mix USB-A and USB-C charging. Um, this is more for connection than for the smartphone, this for charging only. Adaptive cup holders, really large and also adaptive, actually quite decent quality. No traditional gear shifting lever, but you press then these gear buttons, but that way you have a clean integration indeed. Driving mode selector right here. And then you have this huge middle armrest here, soft touch, and it's very well attached. When you open that one, acres of space. Let's now get inside the second row, because it's supposed to be a family SUV indeed. And here we can move this second seating row and then I also have enough leg room here left. I can also try to move it a little bit forward that I can see um, you know, how I fit back then there later on. Here we also have, good for the kids, these manual shades that doesn't get too hot actually. And you have different combinations here available. At this moment this is like a 2-2-2 two, two, two setup. This middle part here is kind of like, it's a removable seat, so you can also have a third seat here that would be possible. In this case then here, it's kind of like just like a step that you can get through. Yeah, the kids will love that actually. There's also Isofix here on the outside seats each. And then what's, what's also interesting here, small detail, look at that here in the, these bags. There's here another one which also has this felt and this is then for your smartphone to put in and it's also protected. So I think it's a very nice idea indeed. And to fold the seat, look at that, we have a, um, that, there it is, there's a button and when I press this one, whoa, that went quick, you want to see it again? Maybe you should press that without your kids being here. Whoa. Okay, but it's an interesting mechanism. And then you can, you know, have this easy access here to the rear. And these are then the seats in the third seating row. All interesting. Just the left one has isofix and the right one not. Hmm. Curious why I did that. So, and then, yeah, it's, it's cool that it is a vehicle where you can climb inside the vehicle back and forth. So, and this is, to me, the crucial thing. So... I left the seat here a little bit more forward that I could sit there and even as a tall adult. So in this is one of the very rare vehicles where three tall adults can sit behind each other. There would be like a triple Thomas would work here. Like Thomas, Thomas, Thomas would be feasible in this vehicle and that's what you rarely see. Indeed. And well, the rear seating row, like the third seating row is the least comfortable, but I could live with that actually. So... Um, even more comfortable, of course, here, but that's actually very decent. And I mean, considering what space you have here on the inside, it's not the longest vehicle overall. Yes, it is a full-size SUV and it's really long, but they are making good use of the space, something Honda is indeed famous for. And the middle console, by the way, here, climate unit, then the um, 115 volt and two USB-A chargers. And now to the trunk. Here, this equipped with the electric hatch, 22 up to 114 cubic feet and this is then the 22 setup here with the third seating row up then you just have some trunk left and you can store stuff here underneath as well and this is then just very short but you can uh, also you know, fold the seats here so like this and like this yeah, there we go so and then you have the usual trunk and we you know here the arches this is like 112 in meters or 44 inches that's very very decent like this is 125 or 49 inches and even longer of course if you would fold them almost 80 centimeters or 31 inches so wow this one can house either a lot of luggage or a lot of people 
And what's also very cool, we don't need all the electric fancy stuff. Look at that, when I pull them up. I mean, this is an easy solution and it's not too hard to do that. Why not? Not everything has to be electrified. I said most powerful, under the hood, we have a 3.5 liter V6 with 285 horsepower. So my favorite things here about this vehicle is the look on the outside, really rugged. Then the space on the inside is just awesome. And also a good user interface. It's easy to control. Cons, therefore, that you have the high trims with animal skin only. And also the fuel consumption will probably be quite high. So they have no alternative for that yet. What about you? What do you think about this vehicle? And tune in, for example, to the Toyota Highlander. Or maybe also to a premium bigger SUV.